good morning dear children i hope you are safe at home i am your english teacher and today we are going to learn about nouns number nouns are of two kinds singular and plural first of all let's learn about singular nouns nouns which stand for one person animal place or thing are called singular nouns for example ball book whereas nouns which stand for more than one person animal place or thing are called plural nouns for example balls books dear children we need to remember certain points when we change nouns from singular to plural form we add s to more singular nouns to show plural form for example bird birds book books cat cats dog dogs pen pens next rule is if a noun ends in s x s h double s or c h we form plural of that noun by adding e s let's see these examples glass glasses box boxes dish dishes bench benches here nouns in singular form ends with double s x s h and c h so according to rule we have added e s to make these nouns plural next rule to remember is that the nouns that end in y and there is a consonant before y we drop y and add i e s for example party parties fairy fairies dear children here before y there is a consonant word t in party and r in fairy that's why we have dropped y and added i e s in both the nouns next rule is also related with y only the nouns that end in y and there is a wall before y we add only s to make the noun plural for example play plays donkey donkeys before y there is a wall a and e in play and donkey that's why we have added just s to make these nouns plural next rule is the nouns that ends in f or fe we drop f or fe and change into ves examples are leaf leaves life lives we have changed f and fe into v e s in both the examples when nouns end in o we form plural form of that noun by adding e s for example hero heroes mango mangoes dear children there are some nouns that have the same form in the singular as well as in the plural form examples are hair sheep deer fish we use these nouns in the same form even in plural sentences nouns that do not form plurals in the usual way are called irregular plurals here are some examples child children mouse mice man men foot feet tooth teeth such nouns are called 
irregular plurals. There are some nouns that are always used in singular form and some nouns are there that are always used in plural form. Let's see singular form nouns first. Furniture, news and information. These nouns are always used in singular form whereas scissors, trousers, spectacles, socks, jeans, clothes. These nouns are always used in the plural. Dear children, activities help us for the better understanding of topic. Now let's have one fun activity. Open your refrigerator and find out five nouns in their singular form and five nouns in their plural form. I hope you will enjoy this activity. Thank you.